If you like Elizabeth Taylor, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. On your knees. You dare ask the proconsul of the Roman Empire? I asked it of Julius Caesar. Number 10. You can send it back. Oh, Dolly, no one would take that back once they got rid of it. You can send them all back. The wedding's off. Father of the Bride is a comedy film directed by Vincente Minnelli. At some point, you've got to come to terms with the fact that your child grew up. A successful lawyer is uneasy when his daughter tells him she is planning to marry her boyfriend three days ahead of the actual wedding. Sleepless nights and restless days follow until there is nothing left for him except to stumble into a catastrophic conflict. We had a horrible fight. I said terrible things to him. And he called me a spoiled brat. I made him stop the car and I jumped out and left him right there. Number 9 Without a treaty of alliance with Egypt, you could not hold the territories under your command. Cleopatra is an epic historical drama film directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz. Capturing the most wonderful and powerful political threesome in the history of film, Cleopatra captures the famous queen's manipulation of the mighty Julius Caesar and Mark Antony in her manic attempt to save the Egyptian Empire. As a consequence, a love triangle would be created that would shape the world around it. I suggest you deliberate further. Perhaps consult with your superior in Rome. My superior? Octavian. Caesar Octavian. Number 8. Why, well, then you lied. It's the Blessed Son. Then God be blessed. It is the Blessed Son. The Taming of the Shrew is a period romantic comedy film directed by Franco Zeffirelli. Provocative and funny, this period piece sees two ambitious and arrogant men fight over the same wonderful beauty. But her thick-headed father will not let her marry until her not-so-beautiful sister also found someone to settle with. Luckily, they have a scheme to solve the situation, which will obviously go horribly wrong. So bedazzled by the sun that everything I see is green and young. Now I perceive thou art a reverend father. Pardon, I pray thee, for my mad mistaking. Number 7 Besides, I'd rather mingle with my sister than mingle with the crowd. Um, that is, if she were here. Little Women is a comedy-drama film directed by Mervyn Leroy. Another instant classic adaptation of the legendary source material, Little Women follows the March sisters navigating family and love while their father is fighting in the Civil War. Clinging to optimism and companionship, their lifelong bond is what holds the pieces of their daily lives together. If it weren't for that, she'd be simply fastidious, for she's a real artiste and plays the piano beautifully. Oh, she'd come over here and play sometime. Oh, she'd never do that. She doesn't play for people, just herself. Number 6 National Velvet, directed by Clarence Brown. This timeless and family-friendly animal journey sees a young girl gifted with a good-wheeled horse. Determined to win a major tournament, she trains and prepares with urgency, supported by her family and a performer jockey. Only one thing could set her off balance, and when said incident actually happens, someone must step in for her. Stop. They're whispering. Let them whisper. Number five. Miss Catherine, don't ever run away. Where will you go, Doctor? Suddenly, Last Summer is a southern gothic mystery film directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz. Horrifyingly raw, especially for its time, Suddenly, Last Summer is the story of a young woman slowly going mad after witnessing the brutal death of her cousin on a trip to Europe. Unwilling to accept her son's fate, her aunt tries to force a lobotomy on her. But will the truth about her mental state and what really happened come out before it's too late? And I suppose I'm to have my head shaved. It seems such a waste, seeing as how I just had my hair fixed this morning, then, then have it all cut off right after it. I tell you, it's funny. Number four. What is it? You make a very excellent cup of tea. Giant is an epic Western drama film directed by George Stevens. It's not only name or cinematography of this piece that are imposing, it also tells a tale that would be an instant classic for generations to come. 
When wealthy Texas rancher Bick brings home a charming love interest, they seem to be happily married, even though young Leslie clashes with his sister. However, things go really awry when another man steps into the ring and a lifelong rivalry is created. But your situation is so different. You're a working man. Well, that's something I'm gonna try to fix. Someday I will. Number three. It's me, Mama. Who was that? Just, just a girl, Mama. A Place in the Sun is a drama film directed by George Stevens. Taking on the social class war of the 50s through the lens of a passionate love triangle, A Place in the Sun follows a young wealthy man who has stolen exactly that. Now working on a poorly paid scum job at his wealthy uncle's company, he falls in love with two women at the same time, creating one hell of a drama. Not to waste your time on girls. I don't waste my time. Will she let you go out tonight? Will she let you go dancing? Come on, I'll take you dancing. Number two. Why are you afraid of the truth? Truth! Cat on a Hot Tin Roof is a drama film directed by Richard Brooks. This feverish adaptation of the classic play takes a look at toxic family dynamics through the eyes of more or less happy married couple Maggie and Brick. While visiting Brick's family on their plantation for his thick-headed father's 65th birthday, things couldn't get any worse when they are questioned for not having children like his other siblings. Are you listening? Yes, Maggie, I hear you. But how in hell on earth do you imagine you're going to have a child by a man who cannot stand you? Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Well, I started with Amherst and I worked my way through the alphabet to Yale. and I'm stuck there. Of course, I could work backwards again. Did he tell you about his wife? She'll join. I hear he's a lush. They are not his to give. They were handed down to my mistress by her mother. Who is your mistress? Rebecca, the daughter of Isaac. She bade me tell you that these are for your armor and your horse, so, so that you may ride at Ashby. To feel that that's meant anything to me, anything to me at all, what would you expect me to feel like at this minute? It depends on how you expected to feel about me. Whether you wanted me as a woman or just a whore. Number one. Do you want to know what's really happened? It snapped. Finally, not, not me, it, the whole arrangement. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf is a drama film directed by Mike Nichols. Who is a happily married couple? Well, everyone at first. When George and Martha return from a cocktail party, they invite a young married couple to stay the night. But what should have gone peacefully ends in a torment of marital angst and paranoia. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.